welcome back to Jiu Jitsu Sisterhood. I'm your host, Ashley, and I'm here today with Brittany Johnson. Say hello. Hi. <laughs> Uh, so I know a little bit about you. She beat me up, guys, uh, and like two years ago, it was great. <laughs> Never forget. No, I'm kidding. You got me like in an Americana, but like I couldn't tell if it was fully on, and I think I just okay. panicked. I was like, oh, oh god. No, I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, no, you were very um, intimidating. Okay. <laughs> Which is good. Like it's the face. you got it. You, it's the face. No, it actually wasn't the face. It was like your demeanor. Oh, like your okay. demeanor wasn't yeah. yeah, not the face at all. <laughs> Don't worry about that. But um, for the people who may not know who you are, um, just give them like uh, your rank how long you've been training and where you train out of um, so I've been training since I was like 15 so I'm 27 so it's like 12 years ish <laughs> um, and then I'm a black belt and I'm training at Autos in San Diego in San Diego nice um, that's like the headquarters right yes what made you want to train there have you always been there um, since I moved to San Diego two, three years ago, yeah, I've started going to Autos. I first started kind of shopping around and then settled home at Autos because it was kind of the best competition I had out there. And What do you mean? Like you could see like the level of like the comp yeah. training that they do? Yeah, they like really push you and then they really like, I don't know, the, the competitors there like go 100% all the time. Yeah. And that sometimes you need that. And yeah, the first day I kind of felt like I was dead. And then I was like, yeah, I need to come back. I need to come back. This is a good sign. All right, cool. And then like, how did you get into jujitsu? I know you started at 15. Was it like your parents or did you like see people doing it? Um, my mom actually said no at first, but my best you friend, it up though? yes, my best friend took me one day and oh. she's like, let's just go try it. I got beat up and <laughs> cried, and then my mom said, and cried. we're not going back, and I said, I want to go back, and I was crying, and she's like, okay, and so I had to walk every day, <laughs> but, oh, dang, <laughs> let me do it, she let me do it, we were down the street, but, oh, okay, that's nice, and then, like, how did you know, like, what was that moment that you knew you were going to love it and just keep doing it? Um, after I got my blue belt, I was like, I kind of like this, and then I got an arm bar, a flying <laughs> arm bar in my first match, and I broke the girl's arm on accident, oh, <laughs> but after that, I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah, this is nice. This is my stuff right here. Yeah. That's funny. A lot of people say, like, after they get, like, a sub in a tournament, they're like, you know what? That's it. Like, I love this. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> okay. So then, um, and then what makes you, like, do you want to do this, like, as a professional, like, live off of this? Um, I'd love to. I'm in the military right now, so I get my, you know, pay. But I would love to do it professionally if I could. As much as I can right now with my timing and deployments and stuff, because I'm in the Navy, I kind of just do as much as I can. But I want to do it professionally. I'm surprised you can balance it out so well. Like, don't like. How often do you have to leave? Um, right now, I haven't left yet, but I will probably later this year. But I typically kind of just tell them like, "Hey, I got an appointment, and I'll go to comp." And they're class. fine with it. They don't know, but I'll go to comp class. <laughs> oh, I have an appointment. <laughs> yeah, I usually ditch. Um, I have an appointment. <laughs> well, I was a supervisor for a while, so kind of like the boss. I'd be like, "Oh yeah, guys, I got a dental appointment. I'll be back in like 10 minutes. Don't come back." <laughs> Or yeah, because I see you compete a lot, so you're able to, like, okay, cool. Yeah. That's awesome, honestly. Like, if you can get that, if you can get away with it, I'd do it. I try. <laughs> um, and then do you still do, like, local tournaments, or do you feel like you only do, like, the major ones, like uh, IBJF, the Opens, I guess? Like, do you do local ones still? Um, nothing like Jiu-Jitsu World League. I don't usually do those. Like those small ones? Yeah, right? not the small ones. Typically, I do the super fights a lot. I like okay. super fights. Those Me are too. fun. Yeah. Yeah, one and done. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but then I, I do like scrapping at the IBJJF. Those are nice. Um, I try to get as close as I can, like, to California. Okay. So I can spend less money and then, <laughs> yeah, try not to <laughs> use all of my money on it. But, and then ADCC, of course, I have to. I love the rule set, so. All right, cool. Yeah. I was wondering, I was wondering if like higher level girls like still sign up like yeah. just for like random ones. So, but I guess not so much. Yeah, kind of de depends. Depends on the mood. Yeah. <laughs> and then, what advice would you give to girls that want to compete but are scared? You know, like they've maybe wider blue belts, lower ranks. Oh, like, what yeah. advice would you give them? Um, starting out, I would say. I'm trying to think. <laughs> maybe take your time. Definitely train hard at your gym. Get partners that will really push you so that you're, you're ready to like get on the map because it's a different pace and people are kind of going for broke. So, <laughs> you know, be prepared to kind of put all your effort out there. All your gas tank is going to be empty. Mine usually empties out, but it refills somehow. <laughs> Just... Oh my God, yeah. my gas tank is terrible. <laughs> oh, mine is pretty good, surprisingly, but I would say definitely train hard at your gym. And then it's not hard. Just after your first one, of course, it's going to be rough. You're going to probably lose. It's okay. Just keep coming back, you know. I, I lose all the time too sometimes so 
Me too. <laughs> Win or lose, yeah, I usually come. I'm, I get mad, <laughs> then I get back out there. And I'm oh, like, yeah, you get mad. I get so mad, but then I'm like, you know what, uh, you know. I'll I get back. so sad, I'm just like, <laughs> I know, you defeat yourself, you just beat yourself up, and you're like, oh, I lost again. Yeah. But then I go back out there, and I'm like, all right, uh, I'm yeah. okay. Yeah, I've definitely gotten better at not beating myself up about it, just being like, all right, next tournament, time to sign up for another one. Same, same. <laughs> all right, cool. And then, so, like, what's the biggest obstacle you've come over, I mean, sorry. What's the biggest obstacle you may have had to overcome in the past or are still dealing with now in your jiu-jitsu journey? Um, I would say it's a tie between two. I used to be very small. I'm still small, but a lot smaller. And I used to get smashed a lot, so that was pretty rough. Like weight-wise? Weight-wise, yeah. Uh, I had a weight adva disadvantage, um, and I used to kind of not figure out how to get out. But now I can get out of those tough di positions and then... Another one would probably be my nerves. I get nervous yeah. really bad. I yeah. used to get like... You don't look nervous when you're... Oh, <laughs> not anymore. I worked on it, but I used to get so nervous. It. Yeah, it was really bad. Like, nervous poops, everything. Oh, man. Now it's, I feel you, me too. Now it's a lot better. I don't get nervous. I kind of just go out there, and I'm like, I don't really care, so... Nervous bladder, nervous bowels. Everything is nervous. <laughs> nervous everything. All right, that's funny. All right, cool. So then I guess some fun questions now. I wanted to ask, uh, what do you like to do for fun outside of BJJ? Um, I like to, I have a dog, so I like to take my dog out um, to the park. <laughs> I like to just go to the beach, go to amusement parks, whatever, kind of whatever Shut floats up. my boat. Yeah, okay. just whatever happens, happens. Cool. And then let's see, what would you say is like a funny or embarrassing moment you had on the map? Um, I think one time when I was younger, like in my first like white belt, blue belt days, I think I farted on the mat. <laughs> like somebody had neon belly and it just That's so funny. came out. It was after high school. I just finished school, ate food, went to the mat and then. Definitely happens to most of us, I would say. Yeah, I think that's the most embarrassing is I farted and it was pretty loud. it happened to everybody at least once? <laughs> yeah, it was, really, I was, I kind of stopped moving. I was like, I hope nobody heard that, but. Nobody, nobody noticed. Yeah, I think everybody heard. <laughs> All right, and then let's see, what would you say? Would you choose armbar or uh, heel hook? Ooh, I like heel hooks, but an armbar always looks nice. It always looks nice? Yes, that one it always looks nice. You think it looks nicer than a heel hook? Video? Yeah, on video that, that is pretty epic. Nice. Yeah, right. uh, heel hooks look nasty. Especially those flying armbars. Yeah, though. they always look nice. Cool. So, do you prefer chokes or joint manipulations? Chokes. Yeah. Chokes. Why? I'm strong and I like to get on the back and then when I'm on the back, I have you feel to, like you're I there. Have to, yeah. It's like there, you know? Awesome, yeah. awesome. <laughs> yeah. I think Jessica Crane said the same thing. Like yeah. the exact like uh, format that you just said. Like once I'm on the back, no choke, mine. <laughs> you have to. <laughs> All right, and then let's see, last fun question. Um, actually, no, I lied. Um, would you rather go to a rave or concert or stay home and watch some movies? I'm a movie buff, so I watch movies. I'm not into raving, so. Concerts? <laughs> I haven't gone to a nice one, so I, if I do, then I'll definitely, you know. Might change it. Yeah, but I'm a movie buff, so I like movies. Also, I would definitely go, I love raving. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now for real, the last question. Okay, what's your zodiac sign? I'm a Libra. Libra? I love Libras. I have, I'm Libra rising. Everybody loves Libras. It's true because they're just so like... We're very lovely They don't want to like cause mayhem. They're just very We're go balanced. with the flow. Yeah, like, Yeah, you can see from the demeanor. Right? Yeah, very go with the best, flow. Very chill. Sign. I mean, it, it is one of the best. I would agree. <laughs> Number I would one. have to agree. <laughs> Number one. <laughs> but maybe Leo might be a little... <laughs> I'm not a Leo. My best friend's a Leo. <laughs> I am a Leo. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Well, that's pretty much all the questions yeah. I had for you. Good luck out there. Thank I you. hope you kick ass. Like I hope so too. You know, <laughs> get on with that Americana you, <laughs> you got me it's with. Something, right? Something. <laughs> Do you have like something that you're trying to go for? No, I think I'm gonna pull guard though. Don't tell anybody. Yeah, but I think I'm gonna pull guard. guard. Yeah, I like usually right before the time or I, like in the beginning. In the beginning, yeah. I'm a wrestler at heart, so we'll see what happens. I okay. might pull. Surprise. Cool, yeah. I'll be watching for sure. Thanks Thank for you. talking to me. Thank you. Guys, this was <laughs> Brittany Johnson. Keep an eye out for her. She's going to be going out there, and she'll be all over the scene. She already is. So uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Like and subscribe. Jiu-Jitsu Sisterhood out. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>